Silverbody here, Ridgeway Rail 04, back with Ridgeway Rail International Edition. And today we are going to be reviewing a Tomix 6433 track cleaning car set. Now, uh, this is a little bit different. I'm gonna, I am gonna started this new series of international reviews because I have two engines that I'm going to be reviewing. Well, this set and one other. Both of them are Japanese, but this series is going to be dedicated mo all, all, almost always to international engines outside of at least the United States or North America, so anything Asian, European, etc. So anything of that sort. So on with this. This just arrived in the mail yesterday, and I've been waiting for this thing three and a half weeks, and uh, I was so happy for this thing to get here because I have a troubled history with the United States Postal Service, and so... Um, well, they got it to me on time, day after it was supposed to come in, and, well, yeah, so it's 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 here. It's finally here. Um, so, yeah, it's come in this very fancy box with the, the Tomix, and then you got the logo down here and the logo here. Very nice, very nice box. Very, very detailed packaging. And um, even got some description on the back, but we'll get to that. So we'll go ahead and open this bad boy up. So... Take inside, you got the locomotive here, we'll get to that, so then we'll set that out of the way. And then we also got, um, inside the box, let me take it out. Uh, let me dump out all of the other paper items. Um, and here's the track cleaning car, so I'll set those off to the side for now. And, um, just saying, when I got the instructions out on how to, uh, fix this stuff, I was figuring, oh, it's okay, they're sure they're gonna have international, they're gonna have international, international people ordering this, they're gonna have English instructions, right? Well, I spoke too soon. Every single thing in this entire manual, apart from probably the logo and a couple certain letters and numbers, is in Japanese. So, uh, re reader beware if, uh, buyer beware. If you buy these and you do not know how to speak Japanese, then the instructions are... You're gonna be like a little kid, because you're gonna have to read off the pictures, because that's what I had to do on how to assemble everything. So, uh, if you know how to, uh, read Japanese, then, uh, by all means, go ahead and buy this. It'll be kind of fun, because, I mean, it's easy. But, um, me being me, I do not know what... I do not know how to read Japanese, or let alone speak Japanese. And then this is just warning instructions and stuff. Um, so, on with the task at hand. We'll get going with the locomotive. So, very nice packaging in the box. So then we'll take the top off. And so then right in here we've got, uh, detail packs. Little, uh, little plates and stuff you can install. And then, I'm not too sure what these are. These look like... Oh, I don't know what these are. Um, no, they look like little couplers and stuff in there. I can't really see what those are. And then back here uh, are the... I'm actually just... Here, I'll take the locomotive out. And I'll pick up these out. Uh, these are your number plates. Actually, those are upside down. Here you go. Uh, two of them are missing because I've already installed two on this locomotive. Because I, I brought this out of the box. When I just to make sure everything's run so you guys don't get disappointed if I try and run it and I'm like, oh, well, it doesn't run. Sorry, guys. Um, and so here's the locomotive and a little plastic, plastic bag wrap. And so we'll, we'll take it out. Uh, one thing that I noticed when I took this thing out for it being about the size it is, it is extremely heavy. It's a very powerful locomotive. All the wheels are driven, as you probably expect. Um, dual pantographs, both of them work, and they stay up really well. They're actually pretty stiff pantographs. They take a little bit of effort to be able to push down and get them to work. Um, directional lighting, the lights right here light up. Light right here lights up too. And, uh, cab detail, don't know really, really if you can see too well, but there is cab detail in there with, like, some seats in the control panel. And so... These, these locomotives, uh, this little locomotive by Tomix is very detailed. I like it. It's a very good, good, very good model. They did a very good job on it. And, um, yeah. 
So I think I got this, I've ordered this set off of Amazon for I think 126 pounds, that's in, not pounds, excuse me, um, dollars. Um, I got this off of Amazon for about 126 dollars and yeah, that's including shipping, it was maybe about 10 dollars shipping. And then it took several weeks for it to come over by boat from Japan and then it arrived in my mailbox and I'm like, oh it's here! And so, yeah, it's here. And so the locomotive looks really good. The detail is excellent. The bogey detail is also really good. And the windows, Clay's windows, very nice. So I'll set that back in the box right here. We'll set that off to the side and then we'll get on to the track cleaning car. So track cleaning car, Tomek's track cleaning car. I got this with the set because I need a track cleaning car because the track was dirty. And uh, locomotive connectivity, electric connectivity, was suffering because of it. And so I thought, okay, convenient, I get a locomotive and a track cleaner with it. Good. And so that little part comes off. So how this works, it's powered, as you can see. Electrical pickups on both wheels. And this little pad, sorry it's dirty, I've already kind of used it. These pads are dirty, but normally these would be clean, hopefully, uh, when you bought it new. Uh, but this is, you got a brush pad here, and you got a spinning brush pad here. And so how it works is this little knob, I don't really think you can see the, I don't really think you can see the lettering on it, but right here, up here, uh, if you turn the knob to this position, that turns it on. And so when you place it on the um, track and give it power, this will start to spin. Um, if you obviously wanted to tow it around, you're going to need the locomotive to pull it around. And as you go around, this spins and cleans the track, and this also brushes along and cleans the track as well. You may be wondering what this compartment in here is for. And that is for, they give you two different heads. Or they actually three different heads. The brush head that's attached right here. A kind of rougher sander, um, sand head right here and then a vacuum insert, which this little fan-like piece will come out. You can pop this brush out and then stick this in there. And as it spins, it creates suction and will suck anything up and put it in this compartment right here. Thus, you can use it as almost a multi-purpose track cleaner, not just to clean hard stuff off of your track, get little de debris off by sucking it off the track, or just brushing the track clean with the brusher. And so it works really well. And then you may be wondering what this little dot for. Uh, you can pop this off, and that gives you track oil. You can add lubricant into there, and there's a little uh, monitor piece, little brass piece governor that will only allow a little trickle of oil out of the compartment at a time. And so... Yeah, overall, Tomix track cleaning car, awesome. It works extremely well. It has improved electrical connectivity on my layout outstandingly. Um, as well as in this little package, they give you uh, this little bag in here. And I find it's almost necessary to be able to take the uh, cleaning heads off and replace them with other cleaning heads that you can get given. And uh, you also get given uh, three of each cleaning head in your uh, in the box with the there. So you've got plenty of spares just in case. And so they give you this little tool right here, which you can use as you flip over. You take this little wedge piece, would stick it in there, and then you can use that to pop the head off and use that to replace um, there. Or you can use the little uh, these little tongs. And you can stick it in there with the vacuum head and pull it off to replace it with something else. And so, yeah, a good little tool helps you fix everything when you need it. And so, yes, tra Tom Tomex track cleaning car uh, works extremely well. Uh, I mean, it's just a track cleaning car. There's not really too much detail on it, so you can't really go too much detail with it. But uh, the locomotive, awesome, really good details. And then the pieces they give you is uh, outstanding because if you don't have to go out and get tools yourself. They give you tools to use right then and there. A little bit of added convenience. And so I'll wrap these up, and I'm going to give you a little bit of history 
uh, of what I can find on the Japanese National Railroads ED-61, which is what this is. This is an ED-61 electric locomotive. And so I'll pop over to the computer and give you a little bit of history on this locomotive. And then we'll pop over to the layout and hook it up with the track cleaning car and set it off around the layout. So, meet you at the computer. Alright, so we're over here on the computer. And we've got it up, and excuse me, uh... It was not a JNR class ED61, it's a JNR class ED62, but it says on the box, if I'm not mistaken, yes, it says ED61 on the box, but I don't know what that's all about. It's probably just a different variant than the one listed here on Wikipedia. But anyway, the class ED61 or ED6, um, or ED, excuse me, the class ED62 is a Bow, one bow, wheel arrangement, DC electric locomotive type formerly operated in Japan from 1974 until 2002 by JNR, Japanese National Railways, and later um, JR Freight. History. The Class ED-62 locomotives were created between 1974 and 1979 by modifying the earlier 18, the eight, the 18 earlier JNR Class ED-61s Bobo electric locomotives with an additional of a center non-driven axle. Rebuilding was carried out as JNR Nagano Nagano works, I believe that's how you pronounce that. Uh, the primary aim of rebuilding was to reduce the axle load from 15 tons to 13 tons for use on the Lida line where the l class displaced vintage JNR ED18s, English Electrics, and JNR ED19s, Westinghouse locomotives, and later JNR class EF10 locomotives. And now when it said when it had um, the addition of a center non-driven axle, the ED61 that I have does not have a center driven axle, but I'm guessing the later variants that they built off of did. And so there were a pro there were how many produced? There were 18 produced number ED613 all the way to ED615. They were built between, yeah, as I said, excuse me, uh, they were built between 1974 and 1979, operators JNR, JNR Freight, and their maximum speed were 90 kilometers per hour, and sadly all of them are withdrawn, um, so you can't really go see these anymore. Um, but the models, the model is very accurate to the uh, real life version, except for the one, of course, that I have doesn't have the center driven axle since it's a later it was an earlier class excuse me later earlier class of locomotives dang i keep on mixing up my words an earlier class of locomotive did not have that driving wheel in the front and so now that we've got the history out of the way we're going to go to the layout and run the locomotive with the track cleaner and that should finish off this video so we'll pop over to the layout right now Alrighty, so we've got the locomotive out on the layout um, just by the way, before I say, I added this brand new hill on the layout. I think it looks pretty nice. I did this in maybe about 10 minutes, so, yeah, new little hill on the layout. There's going to be another hill over there. But anyway, back to the locomotive review. So we've got the locomotive on the track, we've got the back pantograph up, got the track cleaner behind it, track cleaner switched on so it should run, we've got the cleaning pad on it, and we will set it off on its way, wrong direction. Off it goes. And it occasionally might get hung up on the points there, because it, I don't know why it does, but it'll get hung up on the, it'll get hung up on the junctions. Oh. Oh, but it appears it has come undone. What happened? This thing can be very fiddly at times, and sometimes it depends on which way you put it on. It might run correctly. Okay, so how about this? We'll put that in the back instead of that there, and we'll put... There we go. Okay. All right, take number two. We'll try this over again. 
Make number two, okay. Both connected, okay, let's go. Let's try this again. Off we go. There we go. It's actually running. And we'll just give it a little bit more juice. It's a bit of a noisy, a bit of a noisy one, but it does really well at cleaning the cracks. Bring that to a stop. So yeah, it's a bit of a noisy one, but it'll it'll clean the tracks really well. And the locomotive is extremely strong because this this track cleaning car weighs a ton. And so yeah, the locomotive does a really good job of pulling the track cleaner around. I have run it with uh, some of my other cars over here. I've run it with some of my other cars. But apart from that, uh, it's a very, very strong locomotive. All the axles are powered, like I said. But yeah, the locomotive does a really good job, and Tomex did a really good job of producing this locomotive, the Japanese Japanese National Railroad ED-61, later variants ED-62 as we just saw. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, first video of Ridgeway Rail 04 International Edition. There will be more international locos to come from countries abroad, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's Ridgeway Rail 04, signing off. Goodbye.